I have seen many places, but none like thee. This quote is from Guru Arjan Dev Ji as he looked at the Golden Temple. These words capture in many ways the mood and ambience at Harmandir Shahid, which is the temple's real name. Few places combine amazing surroundings with a calm and peaceful atmosphere better than the Golden Temple. If you look around you, you will see that the area holds more than just the Golden Temple. The Darbar Shahib Temple Complex, which the palace is often called, consists of many sheikh shrines, temples and other holy places. Three holy trees can also be found inside the temple area, each one associated with a historical event or a sheikh saint. In the middle stands the Golden Temple, surrounded by a large man-made lake. The lake's name is Amritsar, meaning Lake of the Immortal Nectar. As the name of the lake is the same as the city surrounding it, one might think that the city gave name to the lake. In reality, it is the other way around. In 1573, the construction of the lake started under the supervision of the fourth guru of Shikhism, Guru Ram Das Ji. The lake stood completed four years later in 1577. During this time, a city began to grow around the lake. The name of the city was originally Ramdaspur after the Guru, but was later changed. As the city became associated with the construction of the lake, the city simply took the same name as the lake itself. Therefore, both the city and the lake carry the name Amritsar. The construction of the Golden Temple itself started in 1588 under the leadership of the fifth Guru, Guru Arjan Devji. The stories state that a close friend of the Guru was asked to lay the foundation stone of the building. After the stone had been laid, a mason straightened the stone, to which the Guru said, As you have just undone the work of such a holy man, who knows what disasters might come? This story has been used as an explanation to why the temple has been attacked so many times by Afghans, Mughals and even the Indian army. The majority of these attacks happened during the 18th century when the temple was attacked multiple times by Afghan raiders. The raiders caused severe damage to the temple complex, which resulted in a restoration of the temple in 1764. Another major assault on the temple took place in 1984 when the Indian army attacked during the so-called Operation Blue Star. The Indian army had orders to move into the temple and remove Sikh militants who were believed to amass weapons inside the area. The operation ended in a bloody gunfight between the militants and the army, resulting in large casualties on both sides. The attack on the Sikh holy shrine and the way it was carried out was and still is highly controversial. Only months after the attack, the Indian Prime Minister of the time, Indira Gandhi, was assassinated by two of her Sikh bodyguards. The army attack on the temple led to extensive restoration work on the temple area. Ever since its completion in 1604, Harmandir Sahib is seen as one of the most, if not the most, important temple of Sikhism. It has become somewhat of a pilgrimage center as all Sikhs try to visit the temple at least once during their life. One of the many reasons for this is that the holy script of the Sikhs, the Adi Siri Guru Granth Sahib, is kept inside the temple. This holy script consists of 1430 parts, written in period of Sikh Gurus between 1469 and 1709. During the day, the script is read non-stop inside the temple and describes what God is like 
and what the right way to live is. Each side of the Golden Temple has an entrance, signifying the importance of acceptance and openness, and to show that the temple is open to all, regardless of religion, race or sex. This is what the Golden Temple stands for today, a place where all people are welcome.